everyone I've been really looking forward to doing this video I am a big geek and I am obsessed with Funko Pops um, behind me is my very large collection I'm going to start with the very first Funko Pops I got I'm a big Beatles fan um, so the first Funko Pops I got were the Beatles Funko Pops and um, I got George Harrison and John Lennon first and I took them out of the boxes because I didn't realise I was going to collect Funko Pops. Then I got Paul McCartney and Ringo. It only paid £10 each. Um, all of my Funko Pops I try and only spend £10 on them. I don't usually like to go over that. Some of them are a bit more, I've paid a bit more for. Uh, but generally I try and get them for £10. Now I'm going to show you my Funko Pop Disney collection. I would love to get all of the Disney Funko Pops but I've only got a small amount of them because there's so many to get. You'll notice a lot of the Disney characters I have are all um, characters from the very first Disney films because I'm trying to go through all of the movies from um, start to finish and um, get the Funko Pops from each of the films. And some of the first Disney characters I got was from the Bambi collection. I have all three of these, Bambi, Fumper and Flower. I also have Cinderella and Minnie Mouse. I got Boo. Um, I actually came across Boo from a Comic Con and I know she's quite hard to find. I'm really pleased I actually found Boo. Okay, now I have my um, Funko Pop Disney's from Jungle Book. Mowgli, Shere Khan, Ka, King Louie, and Blue. Continuing with my Disney Funko Pops, I have Prince John. This is the only Funko Pop I have from the Robin Hood collection. I have some Robin Hood and uh, Sir Hits. I think uh, these look really good. I have Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is the only Funko Pop I have from the Peter Pan collection. I really want Peter Pan and Captain Hook, but I'm finding them really hard to find. Uh, I think they are quite um, quite rare. The Tinkerbell I got, I got a Hot Topic um, exclusive one, which I got from a Comic Con, and it's the Tinkerbell where she's covered in glitter. When I can, I try and get the exclusives of the ones that are a little different. Uh, another uh, exclusive Funko Pop I got is the Cheshire Cat and this is the Cheshire Cat where he's half invisible so I really like that one I have Alice and I have Tigger the only Funko Pop I have from the Winnie the Pooh collection again I'm finding it very hard to find Winnie the Pooh and these were actually the very first uh, Disney character Funko Pops I got Pinocchio and Jiminy. I also have Maleficent, Malef Maleficent, whether I'm pronouncing that right, but I have her and I have, um, I have her and Sleeping Beauty from the film as well. Still more Disney characters, I have uh, Snow White, she was one of the very first Disney characters I got because of course Snow White was the first uh, Disney film made. I also have Grumpy and the Evil Queen. I've just started collecting um, the characters from Lion King. I only have two so far. I have Pumba and I have, oh god what's his name? Rafiki. I have Dumbo and this is a Comic Con exclusive Dumbo. It's the metallic one and I actually paid, um, I think it was about £15 of this one so I went over my £10 budget but um, this one's actually one of my favourite Funko Pops I have. I have the candlestick. I only have uh, two Funko Pops from the Frozen collection. I have Olaf and Anna. Um, this one is a Funko Pop Comic Con exclusive one. It's the Frozen Arna. Okay, that's all of the Disney Funko Pops I have so far. Now I'm going to show you my SpongeBob collection. I have every single character from SpongeBob. 
I have Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy and Mr. Krabs. Really love the Spongebob collection Funko Pops, I think they're really cute. Um, Spongebob Comic Con exclusive, I think it looks really cool. It's a green Spongebob and it even has um, little plankton there as well. I just think that's very neat. Um, another collection I'm going to show you now. I've just started collecting them and they're the characters from The Hobbit. I'm a big Hobbit, Lord of Rings fan. Thorin. I really want to get Gollum but he's so difficult to get. I have Toriel. And look how cool that one is. Sorin. I love these. Really, really love them. So cute. I have Smog. Look, and they're so heavy as well. Love these Funko Pops. I'm covered in gold as well. And they're a lot bigger than the average size Funko Pop. Next collection I have is um, the Black Butler. I have all of them, um, all the Funko Pops you can get off the Black Butler. I have CL. I think these, well, the designs for these look really good. I think the details are very good in these Funko Pops. I have Sebastian. Grell and The Undertaker. So I had to get um, all of the Big Bang characters, uh, Funko Pops. I have the whole gang, Sheldon Cooper, Penny, Howard, Amy, Raj, Bernadette and Leonard. I know you can get the Big Bang characters uh, exclusive editions and you can get them dressed up in um, Star Trek outfits which I also really want to get as well. Okay when I first started um, collecting Funko Pops the ones I was collecting were the Game of Thrones characters because I am a huge Game of Thrones fan and I originally before I was even into the big um, craze of getting Funko Pops it was more aimed towards just getting the Game of Thrones characters and I did have the complete collection but I know they've brought out new ones and I haven't got all of the new ones yet. Okay so I'm going to go through all of the Game of Thrones um, characters now. I have, have my favourite character of all time Tyrion Lannister. Number two is Ned Stark. Number three is Danny. Number four Khal Drogo. Number five The Hound. Number six White Walker. Number seven I have Jon Snow and I have the exclusive Beyond the Wall Jon Snow. Um, he's basically, the only difference really is he's covered in bits of glitter to symbolise snow. Number eight we have Rob Stark. Number nine we have Arya. Number ten Jamie Lannister. I know you can get Jamie Lannister with the golden hand. Um, I haven't got that one yet, that's a new released one. Number eleven Cersei. Number 12, Renly. Number 13, Brienne of Tart. Okay, and don't judge me, guys, but I am a huge fan of Joffrey Baratheon. He's probably my second favourite character from Game of Thrones. Number 15, Hodor. I love the dragons. They're my um, one of my favourite... They are actually my favourite Funko Pops from the Game of Thrones collection. I have uh, Drogon. Number 17, Tywin. Number 18, e Egret. 19, Ghost. I know you can get an exclusive Ghost where um, he's got fur, but I haven't got that one. That's just the normal one. Um, I found this dragon very hard to find. My sister actually bought this for me um, online uh, for quite a bit of money. Um, but this one is the Green Dragon, Rhaegal. At number 21, is the awesome Tyrion in his battle armour with his scar. And number 15, no, <laughs> what am I talking about? Number 22, we have Viserion. Is that right? Viserion. Um, I actually bought this online for quite a bit of money because um, I thought it was going to be another rare one to come across. Then I walk into the shop and they have them sat in there for £10. 23, we have Grey Wind. 24, Daenerys in her wedding outfit. Number 25, we have Daenerys again in another outfit. And being the big, heavy-footed clut that I am, I ended up st stamping on the box and yeah, completely ruining it. 
very upsetting. I'm so clumsy. For 27, we have Samwell Tarly. Uh, number 26 is Jon Snow um, in his castle black outfit. I don't actually have that one. Number 28, we have Sansa, Sansa Stark. Number 29, Peter Baelish. Okay, I don't really know anything about these characters, um, but I got these because um, I thought they looked really cool as Funko Pops. I'm not even going to attempt to say her, well, Rin. There's Rin. And Len. Yeah, I saw this one online. Um, I liked his, his funky hair he has, so I had to get him as a Funko Pop. Meek You. I don't know whether I'm saying that right, but I really like her as well. I think she's a really nice looking Funko Pop. And then this one was a newly released one to add to that collection. I'm a very big fan of the actor Steve Buscemi. Um, so when I saw this Funko Pop, I knew I had to get it. Uh, it's Donnie from The Big Lebowski. Um, and that's the character Steve Buscemi plays as in that film. Um... My friend also brought me Randall, uh, who of course Steve Buscemi voices as. Continuing with um, actors I really like, another actor I love is Al Pacino, and so I had to get this one. This is the Tony Montana Funko Pop. Also have the um, Scarface Tony Montana in the car as well. Um, another actor I'm a fan of is Seth Green. So um, I'm not a Buffy fan, um, but I know that he acts as Oz from, Buff uh, from Buffy. Another actor I'm a huge fan of is Tom Hiddleston. I love Tom Hiddleston and I love Loki. Um, this is the Loki bubble, uh, bubble head one. Um, I don't really collect the bobblehead Funko Pops, I prefer the ones um, uh, that don't bobble. Um, but um, of course it's Loki and I'm every single Loki I want to get. So I've got that one and I've got the Loki bobblehead with the gold helmet as well. And my sister brought me this really cool exclusive um, Loki Funko Pop and he glows in the dark as well. Okay, this is the most expensive Funko Pop I have brought. It's um, Stan Lee exclusive Funko Pops. A pop, Funko Pop, they only made a thousand of these. Uh, this is a limited edition one and I paid, if I remember, I think it was about £50 I paid for this one. You could get uh, the Funko Pops where Stan Lee actually signed the box. I think they were about £90 also bought um, the Flintstones Funko Pops because I think these ones look really good and Barney as well. This exclusive Funko Pop um, Flintstones where they're different colours. These are limited edition. Um, there's only, it says here, there's only 480 of these made. I also have E.T. Funko Pop. My friend got me these for my birthday, which I think they look really cool, um, have Slimer. I also have this one, which I think is really cool, it's the Marshmallow, Marshmallow, <laughs> how do you say it? Marshmallow. It's the Marshmallow, Marshmallow Man, and um, it's a glow-in-the-dark one, an exclusive. Uh, I know you can get this one with an angry face, um, I really want to get that one, that one looks really cool. I also have... Uh, this one, Dragon Ball Z. I never watched Dragon Ball Z, but um, I brought this one because I thought it was a cool looking Funko Pop with really cool spiky hair again. It seemed to like the spiky hair characters. And so yeah, I really wanted to get this one when I saw it. So yeah, that's my Funko Pop collection so far. I still want to get more and keep collecting them. And um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to see more from me. I know you can get the Muffin Man um, with an angry face. I think that one looks really cool as well. I really want to get that one. <laughs> the Muffin Man. What's that? I have four. Foreign. Oh, damn it. <laughs> big fan. 